What else is out? Uh, All My Friends Hate Me, which is an uncomfortable and often cringe-inducing, deliberately so, comedy of class and error, directed by Andrew Gaynard and written by Tom Stoughton and Tom Palmer, who are a comedy sketch duo known as Totally Toms, who were, because they're both Tom, get it, who were in oh. Edinburgh in 2011, where I think they were nominated for a newcomer award. They've been on YouTube, Channel 4, BBC3, Sky Atlantic, and met at school and have been together since then. This is their first foray into feature films. This premiered in Tribeca in 2021. It was then at the London Film Festival. It's been picked up uh, for distribution by the BFI, by the British Film Institute. I, I had the two uh, writers on the monthly show that I do at the BFI South Bank. So Tom Sutton is Pete. Age 30, he's just returned from working abroad, gets an invitation from his old university mates to celebrate his birthday in a posh country house. On the way to the house, which is in you know remote country wilds, he has a strange and disturbing encounter with a mysterious figure. Then he tries to get directions from a local. Everything goes a little bit straw dogs. Here's a clip. Hello. Hey, excuse me, sorry. Um, I don't suppose you know where Cleve Hill Manor is, do you? I do, yeah. Could, sorry, and could you tell me where it is? I can, yeah. <laughs> oh, good one. You got me. Sorry. Couldn't resist. <laughs> So what do you need to know? Lost? Yes. Thought as much. Yeah. The old sat nav let you down then, eh? Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Long journey? Yeah. Um, sort of late for my own party, actually, yeah. It's my birthday. Yeah, you need to loop back round through the red gate, bare left till you hit the land pub, then straight shot through Dorney, and it's on your left. Big eye in front, you'd think. I remember. Thank you very much. Might come join you later. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll let the others know. So what I mean about comedy of awkwardness and that yeah, kind of... reminded me of some of the conversations that I've had when the kids were younger, <laughs> trying to get them to ask more precise questions. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so that was you. What's, what, what's for lunch? You know, all those kind of questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you and try and narrow it down a bit, yes. <laughs> you know, that did look awkward. Anyway, he then he, he says, you know, I might join you, which you might well do. Gets to the house... And his friends, you know, all my friends hate me. They are all oddly horrible to him. Or are they? Is it all just in his head? Do they hate him? Has he done something wrong? Or is he imagining it? And everything is heightened when they invite a stranger they've met at the pub that they describe as, oh, he's a great laugh. He's going to come along. And they all think that he's just like, you know, fun. But he, to Tom, he's, he's not just an interloper. He's a threat. He seems to be orchestrating against him he seems to be making everything so he suddenly finds himself absolutely surrounded by this hostility and this kind of conspiracy and this borderline horror that he doesn't understand so what the film does is it walks this tightrope between being on the one hand funny and on the other hand creepy and unsettling and 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 and, you know slightly horrifying and it's a very difficult balancing act usually if you combine those two elements they they can often work against each other, like comedy dispels horror and horror undermines comedy. And it's very interesting how much All My Friends Hate Me manages to keep that balance. Do you remember the Kira Knightley film that we were talking about? Silent, is it called Silent Night? Oh, the Christmas one. Yes. Yes, I do. That has that similar thing that you, you're going, I'm sorry, is this... Is this funny or horrible? I'm not sure which of the two it is. And in fact, I think we decided that either way it wasn't very good. Yes, that is This is what happens if you get that balance right. Ah. If you manage to actually not fall off the tightrope. You know, annoying people in an uncomfortable situation, not instantly sympathetic, actually often profoundly unsympathetic. And yet the balance makes it work. I mean, it's not perfect. Um, It's been described by the by the filmmakers as a dark comedy about social paranoia and Peter's Friends as written by Ben Wheatley. And I actually think that Peter's Friends as written by Ben Wheatley is a very good description of that thing about, you know, yes, it's it's comic, but it's unpleasant and awkward and edgy. And for a lot of it, it manages to keep that balance surprisingly well. And it's a very hard balance to keep.